during the modeling process you may need to uh, get an angle, measure an angle uh, between two points and Lightwave has an angle tool which is kind of like a virtual protr uh, protractor. So I'm going to go over to the detail tab and under measure choose angle tool and the way it works is that you pick a point that you want to start. I'm going to measure the angle here so I'm just going to left click and drag and then go anywhere else and um, well actually I need to come over here and left click and drag and I can get down in the info window it says 45 degrees okay now if I were to left click and drag and come right back to the starting point that starting point becomes the actual centerpiece the angle piece here and I click and drag and I can get the the measurement this way so if you left click and drag and then come right above this and click you start to um, work with the the angle or if you left click and drag and then come back over here to the start you can uh, work this way where you're actually taking the corner piece here and moving that so just make sure that if you're wanting to if you're not wanting to move this as the center point, you need to click away from it and get your measurements this way. Uh, or you just click and drag and come over and grab left click and drag right on that tip and you're able to use the angle this way. So these become the two end points and the point that was over here becomes the center point. It's just a really quick way to get the uh, the angle, to measure the angle, and why would you need that? One reason why you might want that is if you're trying to figure out in the surface editor, if you're trying to figure out what the smooth threshold should be on a surface, um, well, knowing the angle of some of your geometry uh, might just give you the information you need to know what to set it at in order to smooth between this polygon and this polygon. So getting that angle uh, can be easy using the angle tool.